to get them uh, Elephants, which are the giants of the savanna, wrestle with their trunks. The ranger runs, yelling, so quick. They stop and see a chimpanzee on a remote tree. As chimpanzees move rapidly from tree to tree, we need to hurry when we hear their sound. African fishing eagles are the animals that symbolize Rubundo Island. Mother teaches her babies how to hunt all day long. It is not easy for babies to hunt like their mothers, even though they are also large. They try to fish, as they learn from their mother. Today is not a lucky day. Tourists will never forget the time they spent in sweet company at Rubundo Island National Park. Sanane Island National Park is located at a 10-minute distance from Muanza, the central city of Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is the world's second largest lake. Muanza is the second largest city in Tanzania. And its fisheries and fish processing industry are thriving. In the evening, fishers prepare lamps and set sail to catch daga a specialty of Lake Victoria, which is a type of freshwater anchovy. Lamps sparkle just as the stars fall on Lake Victoria. A boat approaches the sparkling lamps. When the lamps are lit and the fishing net is cast, dagas rush to the lamps to eat worms near the lamps. Lake Victoria which is as generous as a mother, provides fishers with good food supplies. The fishers all smile. <laughs> the port is filled with fish from the boats that returned in the morning, and the village is lively. It takes only 10 minutes to travel to Sanane Island National Park from the port by the speedboat. However, we must wear life jackets for safety. Over 70 species of birds live happily at Sanane Island. The island is ideal for birds as it's surrounded by Lake Victoria, which features an abundance of fish. We begin our exploration at Sanane Island National Park. The park is like a venue where visitors can be educated on the ecosystem. Ms. Hamishi introduces Sanane Island National Park to college students who are visiting the park. 
The audience members include zebras and impalas. Zebras get closer to the students and study together. <laughs> students take photos that feature backgrounds of the lake and the bay. watching birds at a natural observatory. While the birds play freely at the peaceful lake, we arrive at the picnic site and enjoy lunch. It is a lot of fun to have a picnic lunch with loving friends. We walk between naturally sculpted rocky hills these hills look like beautiful blocks made by God. <laughs> the jumping rock at Sanane Island is a must-see spot. Who can jump highest? Jumping with friends makes for a perfect day. A daily life for the chief warden of Katavi National Park. Mr. Ignaz Gala begins by looking around the facilities of the park early in the morning. By removing the weeds that have grown through the night and checking whether the power system is working safely, he always makes sure to take care of the tourists. He begins his day at the office after the park rangers tell him that everything is okay. Who above the Katuma River in the western region of Tanzania. The flight brought us to Katave National Park. Welcome to Katave. After him, his tree has been safeguarding the people for a long time, even now. Hippos stay in the river to cool their delicate skin under the burning sun, and birds catch bugs on the backs of the hippos. A yellow-billed stork flies high, proudly displaying its beauty. Buffaloes run along the Katuma River. The Katuma River is generous to every thirsty animal that lives in the national park. Katave National Park is rich in grass and water the most important supplies for herbivores. That is why the animals in Katave National Park are happier and more leisurely. Katave National Park, which features a large savanna and a forest, is ideal for experiencing the wilderness. Thrilling experiences beyond your imagination await. Hippopotamus and crocodiles represent the Katave National Park. Hippos whose territories are clear and crocodiles 
which never let go of anything once they bite it, are neighbors. Various the safari capital and the Kilimanjaro International Airport. As such, it is considered to be the beginning and end of safaris in Tanzania. Arusha National Park's horseback riding safari, which is its most popular activity. Travelers encounter wild animals on horseback rather than observing them while driving through in four-wheel drive vehicles. Visitors can encounter elephants face to face, get closer to giraffes, and be together with zebras during the horseback riding safari. This is the ultimate thrill of the horseback riding safari. Horses run up the beaten track in the sun and winds of Tanzania early in the morning. The rush of buffaloes, one of the big five mammals, continues to create a grand sight. Buffaloes run in groups and create such an incredible scene. While traveling through the well-preserved trails of Arusha on horseback, we can fully enjoy the various smells of Arusha National Park. At the picnic site, we can look down on Arusha National Park. The wind and sunshine will enhance your experience. The National Park's beautiful scenery is like a paradise. We will enjoy canoeing leisurely at Lake Momella. We will feel as though we are part of nature as we canoe along the lake where flamingos and butterflies live. Blue monkeys, which are mischievous animals, welcome people with their funny faces. Meru Mountain, which is the fifth highest mountain in Africa, and is 4,566 meters above sea level, is perfect for couples or friends who wish to see the summit. Black and white colobus monkeys are well-known symbols of Arusha National Park. Trekkers are able to see mysterious and wild animals up close. Climbers are able to have lunch with their friends under a fig tree and take photos with their loved ones. Florence, a French teacher at an international school, goes on a tour of her pet, but Florence drives to Moshi, an old center that represents the history and industry. She is here to meet her boyfriend, Tom, for a camping safari in Mkumazi National Park. The couple is already thrilled about the safari. It is located 150 kilometers away from Kilimanjaro International Airport. Its natural environment is well preserved. The couple begins their journey by looking down on Nkumazi National Park from a hill.
The first animal they see in this peaceful and large savanna is a giraffe, which is as tall as a two-story building. Part of beasts graze leisurely nearby. They see shy zebras as herbivores that leisurely move in the savanna. They look peaceful. Animals Florence and Tom look around the park in the warm afternoon sunshine. A giraffe runs in a small plain of Unkomazi. New roads are made by people and animals that visit here at Unkomazi National Park. This is a world of true wilderness in Tanzania. Dar es Salaam is the economic capital of Tanzania. The town of Dar es Salaam is crowded with cars. Three friends, who are models from Tanzania, embark on a safari tour. They are really happy to experience a getaway from their busy lives. Sadani National Park is the closest national park to Dar es Salaam. Sadani is a kind of paradise, as it offers both beaches and wilderness. Tourists take a boat along the River Wami, where the river meets the sea. Following the riverside mangrove forest, hippos welcome the tourists. From July to October, it's the perfect season to see the wonderful flight of flamingos on salt farms. Three friends are running along the unpaved road of the park. A giraffe runs in the plains, full of palm trees. When the sea breeze cools the sunshine of East Africa, hartebeests and waterbucks come out of the forest and walk in the grasslands. A baboon in a tree looks at the people well, the what they really want to see is a green sea turtle. The mother sea turtle, which laid her eggs two months ago, returns to the sea and waits for her babies. It is time for the eggs to hatch. They wanted to see baby turtles, but they could see only eggs. A week has now passed. A baby turtle, which they saw only a week ago, has hatched and struggles to climb up the sand hole. The baby needs to go to the sea to find its mother. It was not easy for this baby turtle to climb up the hole, but now it has to pass some seaweed. After struggling for a bit, the newborn turtle 
who misses its mother, finally goes to the sea. It does not see its mother. Instead, it only sees some strange tropical fish. However, the Indian Ocean becomes home to this baby turtle, and the beach of Sadani National Park is its hometown, where it will ultimately return as a mother. The sun rises at Ruaha Plain. It is the largest national park in Tanzania, covering 20,200 square kilometers. We need a skilled guide and a driver to fully enjoy the beauty of the vast Ruaha National Park. Safari guide, Mr. Umwalim, and driver, Mr. Toba Gonje, rush to the airstrip to greet their guest early in the morning. Ruaha National Park is well known for its baobab trees and kudas. Male kudas stay alone and are grouped together except during mating season. The elephant horns of the male kudas, which can grow as long as 180 centimeters. They are also used as weapons when the kudas fight for power. A light plane arrives at this large national park and a thrilling exploration begins. The guide and the driver meet their guests and they are prepared for a safari tour as soon as they leave the airstrip. To get closer to the wild animals, we need to protect ourselves from diverse insect species in the forest. When burning the excrement of elephants, we can keep the insects away. The smoke is not harmful to humans. We burnt the excrement of elephants, and an elephant appeared. Elephants, which are over one ton, may look gentle, but they are the giants of the savanna. An elephant drives lions away so that the herbivores can drink safely. Lions, which were driven away by an elephant, need to take a rest without quenching their thirst. National Park is a famous place for the animals. Mm -hmm. Here you can find the animal from Eastern Africa and the, from Southern Africa. Safari guide who works at a tented camp in Ruaha National Park is very proud of the park. The sun sets at Ruaha National Park while the visitors listen to his story. Having dinner in the pristine wilderness against a picturesque background and fall asleep under starlight. The Arboretum features over 1,600 varieties of plants. The sun rises at Ruaha Plain. It is time for the baobab trees to bloom and bear fruit. The guide makes juice using baobab seeds and their white flesh. This is the baobab rich in vitamin C and minerals.
bush lunch with animals ahead is waiting for tourists. Wild animals also have their own lunch nearby as they graze. We're in a quiet and peaceful paradise, which we couldn't even dream of in busy towns. Following this perfect lunch, we embark on another safari. I've discovered their targets as their eyes are glittered and their ears perked up. Will they succeed? Climbing at Mount Kilimanjaro begins in the hands of both a Tanzanian guide and a cook who prepares fresh foods. The Tanzanian guide and cook strictly select the freshest ingredients. The first president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, called Mount Kilimanjaro a candle of hope, symbolizing the independence of freedom of Africa. Porters and trekkers need to be thoroughly prepared to get to the summit of the highest mountain in the African continent, Mount Kilimanjaro, which is 5,895 meters above sea level and takes six days to reach. Not only is this the highest peak on the African continent, it is also the tallest freestanding mountain in the Alpine Desert. Snow-covered Kilimanjaro is now within our grasp. We need to set off at midnight to see Africa's dazzling sunrise. We huff and puff due to the slippery volcanic ash soil and the lack of oxygen. The snow-covered African mountain is located along the equator. This is a mountain where people can touch the sky. It is the highest freestanding mountain. This is the top of Africa. Kani watu tunawaambia kwamba serikali inajenga na imeanza ujenzi wa standard gauge railway kuto, uh, kutoka Dar es Salaam na mkandarasi wapatikana ujenzi umeanza lakini watu wanabeza wanaona kama ni reli ya udongo haiwezekani tuwaambie watu kwamba tunanunua ndege na ndege zimekwisha fika tatu zimeonekana lakini watu wanazibeza wanaona kama vile ni parachute sio ndege na hata hiyo amani isimamie kwa ukamilifu kama kuna wanavunja amani upande huu na upande wa pili vile vile ushurikiwe msumeno unakata mbele na nyuma ukati pale sehemu moja 
italeta furaha na faraja kuona wale wanataka kuleta uchani uharibifu wa amani nchi hii wanashuhudikiwa bila kuangalia anatoka wapi anaelekea wapi amani ni amani tu ukiangalia wadipa kodi wakubwa Tanzania na mheshimiwa mipango na waziri wa viwanda yuko hapa wajasiria mari wanaolipa kodi kubwa na wenye viwanda vingi ni darasa la saba hebu wasimame hapa nitajie mtu mwenye kiwanda anayelipa kodi serikali mwenye chuo kikuu hapa